Hey guys, Captain Foley here. Thank you, Thank you. <laughs> We are Trek Yards. Sorry I threw you off a little bit, Commander. That's right. Um, but anyway, uh, so today we're going to be looking at uh, more of the Discovery trailer. Mm -hmm. We're going to break it down as we have so been much doing. Look at. So much look at. Examining all the little aspects that we are interested in, and I'm sure you guys are as well. So today we're going to be looking at bridges mm. now, or the bridge of the Shinza that we see. Now, as we've done with all these other videos, we're going to decide based on our discussion and uh, the facts we present whether it fits in the prime timeline, whether it's more of a reboot, or whether it's Kelvin, a Kelvin verse, or something else entirely, just a soft reboot. Who knows? Mm. We're going to discuss. So. Let's look at the bridges. Yeah, a lot of bridges to look through. Hmm. It's, yeah. Now, this is the chart, first of all, guys. We've gone for Franklin, then NX01, then Kelvin, then Cage, then Discovery, then Connie. Uh -huh. Franklin, obviously, and, and Kelvin are the, the odd ones out in a sense because technically they're meant to be prime. But yes. Simon Pegg thinks, has said that maybe the, the pre Kelvin stuff. You know, it, it changed everything backwards and forwards at that instant, so it's not really prime. But some people in the CBS things do still say it's prime, at least the stuff yeah. that was pre-instant. So it's kind of like a bit of everything. And the Franklin especially annoying because it was the first warp before ship, but then refitted after the Federation and given the new NX, which means they could have refitted and replaced the bridge, the L cars, the engines, all these things that don't necessarily link. They could be because they're post-Federation. Or they could be the original, that's why it looks so old. So we've put the Franklin as the original because to do an entire bridge redo, at that point, why are you bothering, you know, the, yeah. the, the Franklin design if you're just going to redo everything and just build a new ship? So we're going with the original design. And it is very clunky. It's very big and clunky, the NX. Anyway, let, let's, let's go through time all just to do some brief um, whatever. So, like I said, start with Franklin. Um, and for me, it's a, like I said, very big... Mm. You know, a lot, a lot of displays, but that's just more modern tech being represented. Big ass window, big, big sort of almost marble, coppery supports. Um, quite big, quite roomy, which mm. is a bit unnecessary for a transport ship. But hey, I guess you put people in there, and three sets of consoles with a side console as well, and some displays at the back. So very big, very bulky. Yeah, that's very my. Very dark and dirty. It's not really bright. Oh, and oh, although this is obviously the ship having been rusted for 50 years. True, true. That's true enough. crashed yeah. on a planet. <laughs> and repaired by someone who does not know what she's doing. Does at the end, but yeah. So that's yeah. the first bridge, probably. Yeah, the next bridge we would go with the NX-01, of course. Yes. Uh, this is more submarine-esque uh, to mm -hmm. me. It's got the, the handles so you can grab on if there's mm. shape shaking going on the color palette's very muted it's got the grays and the uh well grays and silvers and dark grays mm -hmm. and monitors everywhere mm. a nice combination of touch screens as well as dials knobs buttons uh so i, I really like the aesthetic of the nx01 bridge um and it does tie in with i think early early space flight that we would have so yeah, and this is the this is the later season one, as you can tell by the TOS extra added buttons on the displays. They also changed the carpet, but this is you know the latest, the latest version, so it's you know linking to the next one. Yeah, for me this looks way more advanced than the Kelvin uh, than the Franklin because the Franklin was a test ship, then cargo ship, so it's designed for a very unique specific purpose. Before the idea of exploration was our goal. This ship, a lot of crew, a lot of functionality, a lot of monitors. You know, every station is a distinct station. Every station has monitors galore and, you know, a lot of space, a lot of supports. This feels like a ship of the fleet, a flagship. The Franklin is just a ship, you know? So I, I dig this ship. But it's definitely a modernistic look forward rather than a TOS look back, although mm -hmm. there are some similar elements, but that's my take on it anyway. Perfect. Uh, next up, we have the Kelvin. Um, mm. If you believe that the Kelvinverse is indeed in the prime timeline, this should mm -hmm. be a prime ship. Mm -hmm. uh, this is way more open. Again, this ties more into the Franklin, just with the color palette that they have. It's more yep. of a darker, uh, like, bronze kind of color. Mm. Uh, plus, well, there are some grays. It's hard to tell with that lighting in some of the shots. Um, but lots of huge... <laughs> monitors and displays mm, mm -hmm. uh which i guess from nx01 era you get get rid of the smaller ones just add bigger ones and you can mm -hmm. i don't know this bridge looks very advanced 
compared yep. to a lot of stuff we see even later. But we'll we'll talk about that. Yeah, it's it's the the consoles are kind of clunky, and in fact mm -hmm. they're very very similar shapes to both Franklin and Discovery, which we'll see a little bit later. But with all the monitors, all the buttons, hyper 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 advanced compared to an X01, and obviously compared to TOS, it's it's far out. This is this is very un. This is where the reboot element comes. It's where you can't. You know, it's tricky to link in, but also how many beams it has, how much extra stuff at the top, yeah. the lights, not how the NX one was was lit. Although I did have the next one did have little small lights, but not in the same way or the same format. Or yeah, and this is very stand up, stand outish. I think it's worth saying that if this, if you didn't see that helm console there, if it wasn't angled the way it was, this would not look Star Trek. I think that's very safe to say. Yes. Yeah. Um, you, even if you took the, the red Trek away line. and made it, you know, the, a muted silver, it'd be like, well, that's sci-fi bridge number six. Yeah. I mean, if, if you, you know, look at the new Orville trailer, I mean, you you give it you give it a new paint job, and you can say it's a spoof of Star Trek. You can say it's a spoof of other sci-fi's. You know, it would just be a generic sci-fi. There's nothing really Trek about it. Absolutely. Um, but it's but this I guess it's the first one to include the helm and uh, navigation consoles. We've now split the one into the two. Hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then the next one we have is the cage. Uh, this is obviously TOS almost. We've got still those big robust shapes, a lot of the greys, still not a lot of colour with the last two ships as well, not a lot of colour. Uh, the monitors, I guess, have shrunk down to lots of sub-monitors with buttons. Instead of having you know, 80 buttons, you've now got a couple of buttons that do a lot more, and they're maybe touch-sensitive and things, so it's more than just a physical button. Mm -hmm. Uh, much, there's, no, there's very little clutter, very little mess. You can see everything, quite bright. You know, if you walk around this bridge, you can walk, you can stand at any point in this bridge and see any other console and know what's going on. Kelvin, not not going to happen. Or NX, not going to happen. So I think in terms of a reliable, useful, user-friendly design, this is much much better. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this car this carries over more of the color palette from the NX01 era. This is more of a direct mm -hmm. lineage from the NX01 kind of jumping the Kelvin, but again, that's Kelvin versus um, not necessarily Prime. So, Well, if you look uh, at the Kelvin the, concept art, um, it was yeah. also greys and browns. So, I mean, mm, a little bit. Yeah, it still doesn't look like it ties in for me. Yeah. Anyway, um, this bridge I really like. I love the color palette, like I said. Uh, this one almost seems more advanced to me than the later TOS bridge, just because of the way the monitors are above the engineering console. I really like that layout. Plus, <laughs> things were always changing on them. You know, later mm. in TOS, it was mm. just, you know, Static usually. Although an um, easy advancement to make this bridge more contemporary is to have all the monitors at the bottom be exactly the same, just changing. Have the entire top slab be one big monitor that's then split into sub monitors, but like one big screen, so that can mm -hmm. change. But the whole thing can display information, and boom, you've updated it without doing very much at all. Mm -hmm. That's a so, meta note. <laughs> yeah. Next in the lineup is the Disco well the Shinzo uh, yes. from the Discovery trailer. Yes. Here we've got a very much a very different look. It does tie in some of the elements from the Franklin with those beams and stuff at the top. Yes, and also the consoles, if you look, uh, there's this big wide open shot, the console that the alien is standing in, very, very similar to the Franklin consoles and Kelvin, so it's very, yeah. very, very, very similar. Yeah. Um, other than that, it's got some TNG almost <laughs> style uh, consoles with the way that the, the stands are angled. Hmm. Uh, which we're not looking at TNG Bridge because we're just looking at the time period right here. Yes. Another interesting thing I found was the red accent on the captain's chair, which kind yeah. of leads in from Cage or even Kelvin style into the TOS aesthetic where it's got all those bright primary colors on the bridge. Um, yeah, so that was an point. interesting tie-in for me. But well, if, yeah, if you look at the, uh, the Kelvin, it's got leathers and, and I think they're sort of brownie gold. So yeah, that's definitely linking with that. But it, again, the consoles very, very. I mean, you go directly from Franklin to to this. I mean, they've you know almost identical middle beams. Just how it's proportioned is slightly differently. The the the, the hero chair is very similar to the Kelvin, almost identical. Very unlike the mm -hmm. TOS one. But very very bulky. For some reason, Discovery. It's. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look comfortable at all. And we know the TOS one is comfortable because we've both sat in literally a it real is one. Very comfortable. It's it's amazing how comfortable the TOS one is actually. So obviously the, the disclaimer discovery will talk about this more in the graph is that it's it's set a year after Cage, the Cage Connie exists out there. Mm. But clearly this is I mean, in terms of design, more, it's bulkier, it's you know, the beams, I mean that it screams 
if you took away the monitors, it screams less advanced. It screams we need to have all this bulking stuff to keep it going. And obviously, the Shinzao, this bridge is huge. It looks mm. huge. And it's got three open windows, and it's, it's in this big dome bit. So it might just be because it's a bigger bridge. It needs those extra supports, so that might not be relevant. Um, but they do say in the trailer, you know, uh, the, our heroes has served under the captain for seven years. So this ship could easily be seven years old, five years old. So pre-cage, and the cage Connie could be brand new, which is why smaller, sleeker, neater. But obviously you've got the displays that are too advanced. You've got more monitors. You've got... Uh, so, of course, the next bridge we have is the TOS bridge, which is one of the most iconic bridges, I guess, and definitely screams Star Trek. Uh, the layout's great. The colors are a little bright, but, I mean, it's interesting that they went that way mm -hmm. for television at the time. Again, we've said this before in other videos, it's a product of its time. Mm -hmm. uh, the new color TVs were out, so let's pop the color, guys. Yes. But those primary colors are also good for the old black and white TVs. It makes it look very clear and not mm -hmm. muddy. But mm -hmm. that's another story. Anyway, so um, brighter color palette. There's more blues and, uh, you know, like robin's egg blues and some grays but i mean they're trying to get away from the uh the darker colors that we see in the cage bridge mm -hmm. and uh i'm not sure if that works so much for me personally but yeah. uh, in, in terms of design though we're 11 years later and the design has not changed really yep. the monitors got small at the top for some reason and that's basically it everything else is roughly the same so not much evolution there but then again they they're just refining the formula you know they're just refining mm -hmm. A working style yep. but Stuart there's a chart there is a chart and it's interesting the way you did the chart because I know you went from you know this is the kind of thing you were going for you know start up here go down yeah this is the time order yeah. to fit them all in but you've basically split it up in my mind to Kelvin verse on the top Kelvin verse evolution on the top oh. prime universe evolution on the bottom and I think yeah. that answers as we do with these videos, we have the question of whether we think it's prime, where it fits. I just answered the question for myself because looking at these, the top is a natural progression in that universe, and the bottom is perfect for the prime universe. So this bridge of the Shinzao is not prime universe to me. Simple as that. Yeah, it it to think that even if that's an old ship, that and the cage exist at the same period is like... Really? They even got joysticks like the Kelvin has, the Franklin has, uh -huh. Mayweather has some little things, but nothing like literal joysticks. And whereas TOS, it's not that. They have buttons. It's more you know advanced. It's more. Ugh. And the one thing you can't see in this picture is all the ones at the top have a window for a view screen. All the ones on the bottom have a view screen for a view screen. <laughs> yes. uh, so it's totally different. There's no tie-in. There's no none of this going on in that chart, in my opinion. It's just two lines. Yeah, two yeah. That's that's the question. I mean, yeah. Is it is it is it original reboot? Is it Kelvin? All these answers are different depending on what we're looking at. And yes, if you look at the Franklin, beams, dark, lots of top lighting, lots of displays, big displays. Goes to Kelvin, two helm, big open. Get the windows. Window, uh, big displays, big yeah. chair. You go straight to Discovery, big, dark, big displays, windows. Well, you gotta say, two you gotta people. say the Shinzo. That's not the Shin, Discovery. Sorry, Shinzo. Yeah, we haven't yeah. seen the, haven't seen Discovery, the Discovery era. Yet, so. Shinzo. Yeah, I mean yeah. that that, you know, I mean the bridge is actually getting bigger. I think each time, even though it's huge at the start, bigger each time, more displays each time, more people each time. That's mm. an evolution each time. And then you look at the you know the prime timeline, the real timeline. You've got a big bridge, but lots of data. To, it, it gets more efficient and smaller refines because it's already you know i mean the the u.s navy went to the star treks and used bridge layouts mm -hmm. because they're so functional i mean you can li i mean look at the the, the shinzao bridge i mean she does not know what's on the monitor that the guy is looking at the the alien so straight away mm -hmm. she doesn't she has to talk to that guy whereas in tos all you have to do is this mm -hmm. oh we're on fire we're about to blow up you know every monitor is accessible which is far more efficient for mm -hmm. the captain and you can't, they can't lip read you through the monitor, uh, through the window, because, you know, people have zoom and enhance. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's not very prime, is it? It's not. It's not. I um, mean, you can you can really force it in if you say it's old, old, old. Yeah. But that's assuming Kelvin well, and Franklin exist, but that's a hell of a precedent when, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, my, yeah. That's, so, so my answer to that question is it's definitely the Kelvin verse esque, but at the same time, it also is non Star Trek at, mm. at all. All those top bridges could be from any other franchise. Yeah, <laughs> they don't really say Star Trek to me. So, it, yeah, there you go. Kelvin verse and totally separate from the Star Trek universe. Those are my answers. Yeah, I, I think, I think in terms of layout, they're all very similar. All of the captain's chair all have front people. I mean that 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 is a universal constant of Star Trek bridges, but mm. we do keep L cards and computer displays consistent. We keep uniforms consistent. We keep. You know, that's the sort of stuff that the bottom line you can see, whereas the top line is... I mean, each of those displays are so radically different and just information, there's nothing there. It's just modern displays pushed toward more information. You know, there's and not even... so a, cluttered, yeah. Yeah, those bridges are all... Yeah. Well, except the Franklin. The Franklin, well, the display is cluttered. Not... Display is cluttered, but the bridge isn't. But That's what I meant. I was meant to talk about the yeah. display, yeah. Yeah, I, I just so badly want it to be linking to Prime. You know, it, they, 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 they say it's Prime timeline. That's what CBS is saying. But obviously, as we've said, you know, do you take TOS as a, especially Cage, you know, a 60 year old TV franchise where, of course, you can't show this modern day, it would not work and it would look awful? Uh, mm. Or do you take it and therefore you have to reboot it, which they did, or, or, you know, visually reboot it as Discovery is most likely to be? Or is Star Trek a, you know, and especially TOS, is it a period piece, period drama? You know, would you give. Abraham Lincoln at the you know uh, for the uh, war, Independence War, would you give him M4s because those those pistols they used at the time were like one, two, three shots? I mean, awful. Or would you give him full automatic rifles? Because it's more interesting. They can have full shootouts. Yeah, but it completely compromises the integrity of the piece. It's no longer a period piece. It's Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't go. That's a popcorn thing. You wouldn't go to that thinking you learn the thing. So that's what this is probably going towards, and it's, it's sad because. Into a Mirror Darkly showed TOS Bridge looking very, very nice. It looked advanced. It didn't look mm-hmm. advanced in terms of our tech advanced, but it looked sci-fi advanced. It looked, it reinvigorated the look of the TOS aesthetic to modern day. And I would love to see a movie with that. Just just change the displays to be monistic and give the lighting the same treatment and boom. It would be absolutely modern day. The sets in Ticonderoga, the advan- the displays are already more advanced, mm-hmm. but they look exactly like the TOS ones, just more advanced. Well, like it's, like I've been harping on, the fact is all you have to do is replace the monitors with touch displays and more universal screens mm-hmm. and have the jelly beans be, again, either touch display or buttons of other sorts. And functionally, sensitive. Yeah. yeah, functionally speaking, that's a better bridge design because you can see anything. You can command a whole bridge. It is a better design for a bridge. Obviously, like in TNG, you can say it's a worse design for a bridge then because, you know, Worf is looking at his own thing and, you know, Picard can't... He has to do this. It's the engineering. I mean, that you could say that's a worse design bridge by that logic. But yeah, we're Picard really has this. access to no information on that bridge, to be honest. But yeah. that's but we're another looking discussion at, for another day. <laughs> yeah, that, that's another, you know, 200 years in the future, yeah. 100 years, whatever. So that's the average. But yeah, you go. So I think we just both sides Kelvin timeline. So that's just one more. For, I, I hope you guys are keeping track and can give us a scorecard by the end of it. See how many, how many mm. votes for Prime, how many votes for Kelvin, how many votes for Reboot. Uh, just sometimes we surprise ourselves doing these. Yes. But anyway, guys, um, if you want to see more of this kind of content, and when Discovery comes out, every episode is going to have juicy new bits in it that we want to examine. So if you want to help us out that way, you can definitely do that. Go over to our Patreon page. There's yes. a link in the description, or go to Patreon slash Trekyards. Donate what you can a month. That'll help out, and we can you know make more of this great content for you. Or if you don't want to do a monthly thing, you can head over to Trekyards.com, yep. click the donate button, and just give us a 10, 15, 20, whatever, a thousand dollar donation if you want, just a one time donation, just to help us out and keep the show going. That would be amazing. I mean, your Discovery trailer came out, and within a week, we'll have all these amazing videos out that dissect every element yep. and all the research done so you don't have to. So if you think that's worth something, if you want to help us do that more and more, You've got to support, you've got to give, you've got to help. But if you can't give financially, just sharing this content around, the more views we get, the more people we get on the Trek Yards bandwagon, as it were, the better for us, the more reach we have. You know, we've got all the designers, we've got CBS, they like us, we've got all these things, but we want you guys as well. So share and help these videos get to people and share the news, share the share the research and share the information. But until next time, guys, I am Connor Kongs. And I'm Captain Foley. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Please donate. I want to build my own bridge. Bye, guys. Bye, Ray.